to our podcast, We're All Set. This is episode number 15. 15. We 15 in deep. You it is been, lit. You have you in the game right now. Right. I'm Kayla Martinez. Very nice to meet you. It's your boy Free. I don't even know what it is. Rich, I'm in the building. You are young. And today we have a special guest. Williams. Real nigga, my brother. Yeah. It's lit. And it's about to get fucking popping. Thank you, Lou, for coming here and thank you for being a part of this. And, and you know what I'm saying? Feeling these vibes yeah, with us. No real nigga time ain't asking no bread, no wax shit. Yeah, yeah, just came through. Realist and trillist. I definitely respect it. Okay, so to get everything started, all of my great topics are going to be later because I'm fucking wonderful. But first, the boys want to talk sports because Lou's here. And y'all know I don't really know shit about sports, but I guess it's playoff time. So I'm going to let. Free, take that away. I mean, yeah. I mean, first and foremost, let's talk about my team, the Warriors. They should say, how long has it been? Get the fuck out of here! here. Oh, you man, to- Warriors for life, boy. We've been oh. here all day, boy. This is how we do it. Talk, yeah, baby. Yeah, so you're yeah. a loyal fan, right? I'm a loyal fan from the turf. Who's your fan? Oh, 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 I've been down with the Warriors. Larry Davis. No, you watch it. You crazy with it. My nigga, with Steven Jackson, when the nigga doesn't go for Carol Lake, who did he go over on Utah? When he violated Carol Lake, it was Carol Lake, right? When he violated Carol Lake, I've been screaming, I've been fucking with this. I was fucking with Steph at Davidson, I've been fucking with them when they had walk, he was praying and all that. that. That's my niggas, don't do that. I'm down with the Warriors. That's oh, it. Shit. Now that we got that out the way, we're going to talk the Warriors. <laughs> Durant's not here. I, I didn't bet that or not. That's because, fuck all that. The Clippers, y'all yeah, took them to six games. The Blazers, obviously, dirt. So let me ask you this. Do y'all feel like they would have shot? Would they have swept shot without Durant? Or do y'all feel like it would have been a, a, impossible? No, nah, I think I think it showed that we'd have, we'd have been there in that fight. Um, with or without him. But I mean, they won two championships without him. And yeah. then, you know, he come in and- That's true. And even when that team starts switching up, he gives them a different dynamic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so they just, they kept pushing. It was a, it was a, it was a great business move. Um, you know, and they'll be strong and, a lot of money out there in other places for a couple guys on that team, so we'll see how many. Let me ask you this. So, can, can I say, are you and Pat Bev, are y'all better backcourt than David CJ? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what it looks like. 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 Nah, nah, what I mean. You can go get 50. You know what I mean? Nah. You can go get 50. Right? Back. You don't get Pat Bev. Back. Back. Like, be humble. You don't have to fucking be humble. You're not scared of Dave. Can you get 50? <laughs> I mean, you know that. All right. <laughs> But it's not, a, it's not really a company. Like, they do their work for, for how they built. We do what we do for how we built. Yeah. But you can say nicer. Like, I feel like your 50 is more crispier than game <laughs> shit. Like, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like, so my opinion don't matter. It, so all right, so I'm going to say that's the nigga. The nigga going for the self. The nigga's not going to tell you another nigga drop because it's better at giving it up than him. That's impossible. Yeah, I mean. You can sit anybody in this chair, and whoever was here the last time, they yeah. said he was better than that person. That's, that's, the, that's the nature of things. Right. I don't need, you just told me, you know what I have to do. I don't <laughs> right. I don't think that I'm just saying. Just like, if I say you, you were Jared Dudley, you're say I'm obviously better than Jared Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably saying the same shit about him. He probably did it what he do. He, all right. That was a real PC answer. I respect it. Nah, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so much in my own lane. I do my own shit. I've created a lifestyle for what I do. So mm-hmm. I don't really be worried about nobody else. That's, I, I lose sleep thinking about the niggas like that. Real shit. Real At shit. this point in your career, do you feel like, do you ever want to start or you just, you go with just six nah, men right after that? I'm good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so with these warrior niggas, feel like nobody got a chance. Like they, they just got it right now. Tilt your hats on, they in a great run. Yeah, that's, a, that's a blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing for them guys that have a run that they have. You know, and as competitors, we go out every time that we play against them, every time we compete against them, we try yeah. to knock them off their throne. Exactly. Until then, they got it. You get them boy, they respect. Yeah. It's only niggas on, I just don't be like when I feel like I can see the fairy niggas' eyes. Like, I'm like, yo, son, like, Steph just shot the shit from 40. Now you, you glazed over. You don't know what's going on. Niggas <laughs> look nervous. They even see they was looking petrified out there. My nigga, like, that's why we can't say that. They still got 30s on the board. Like, when, when they had one 28 point game, game four, it was like you had to show up. What was he game one through three? I don't want to hear rib injury because if you go from the third. So the, the same way you said in backcourt, CJ McCollum was there every night. And he didn't show up. And I thought he was 27 points in that series. I don't want to say CJ was there. Listen, you didn't tell me anything. You didn't tell me anything. I'm not telling you anything. Was he was how where was he? Where was he in the fourth quarter when there's three minutes left in the overtime and nigga ain't scoring no basket? I'm looking at you watching. I want something. I want something. Make a basket when it count. Y'all niggas 
turned up 26 times. What about this kid? There wasn't daytime at all. I didn't see daytime. I didn't see about 28.26 points. CJ McCollum had a quiet 22, 24 points. Them niggas lost. They was not 17. That's what he had. And the Clippers is up 17 and y'all blowing that lead. He averaged 26. Seven, five, 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 seven, why he, he seem like he took this shit Yo, first time while I pull up, yeah, CJ McCollum <laughs> plays the game against the Warriors. Yo, it doesn't matter, bro. It's just over and play trail with these niggas is a dub, bro. I just want to know, is Toronto or Milwaukee going to stand a chance? That's what I want to know. I like both of them, but I think I think Milwaukee is is is, is in, in a good run. But at the same time, the Raptors got a lot of that Spurs energy over there with Kawhi and Green. They got a championship caliber. They got real champions over there. Now Toronto, I don't think Stanley Kawhi. I'm scared to watch. I'm supposed to be sleeping on. I'm trying to tell niggas, niggas got championship experience, my nigga. All right, Lou, I got a question for you. Of all the teams you played for, you've been in the league for a very long time. What team can you say felt the best? Whether it be like they felt like family or whether the most wins, whatever most important to you, who's you feeling the most? Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really comfortable where I'm at right now. I think. Um, good, safe, ass. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta. Clippers Nation. No, I literally was about to retire. Like, you know, Reese and they, they pulled you back in. Reese can attest to that. I, I was. That was my last year going into going into LA, and I fell in love with the game again. So. And you like LA? Like, <laughs> yes, but that's. You like it? You like LA for the team? Yeah, or you like the situation? For everything, just just where I was in my career and what yeah. and, and, and what it brought back to me and how I'm able to operate out there, like you know they allow me to be myself, let me mm-hmm. do what I want, say what I want, feel how I want, mm-hmm. and shit they back me, you know what I'm saying? And that's from players to staff and everybody. So I really I really enjoy it up there. Shit, I'm out there on discount. <laughs> <laughs> that's you guys are bad. My my man is in the group chat. Yo, that nigga Lou Will is underpaid like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna cut you off, but I got McCullum stats. Seventeen twenty two. <laughs> Yeah. 17, 22, 23, 26. Yeah. Yeah. 17, 24. Look at the efficiency. Nasty. 36. Nasty. Third. Like, Same. You, yeah, I know. I respect that you NBA. Y'all got a brotherhood, but we not gonna sugarcoat it. Them niggas ain't show up. Period. Where is 25 points a game? No, I'm talking about against the Warriors. What, what he averaged. Average. A- and the average is All right, like, 26, 23, 22, yeah, 17. Where is that? Where, anything over 20 points a game, where is that sweep? I'm not going to do the averages. Where is that sweep anywhere? In any, in any league? Well, you average it. Can I move on? It's 22 games. It's 22 games. It's, 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 it's not sweet, sweet. but it, I mean, we need more. That's not enough. The efficiency yeah. was dirty. Well, these defenses are dirty. 22 or 35 on, on sub 30% shooting, not going to get it done. You want to sweep? What are we a defense underrated, bro? They had to make it on Shaq. Draymond is different. Well, how do you feel about Draymond? Do you feel like he's off? Yeah, me personally? I'm shit the whole podcast. Right. Like See, like, look. Like, we got, my brother here, she's like, out. can we move forward to this shit? Because I have other things. We things just started. Like, you know, we're 30 seconds. You're about to get into the bullshit. You're about to get into the spot. I think that was too long. We only 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead. What about Draymond? What do we think about I feel like Draymond right now is paying the best in the playoffs. You're doing the best in the best out of who, nigga? Just out of everybody. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. I don't know what he's saying that. I think what he's saying Yeah, clear that thing up. He's playing his <laughs> best basketball yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the best he can do. Yeah, he's playing the best. I was, let me clear. He's yeah. playing the best he can play right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the best of his career. Yeah. This is the best we've seen Draymond in that game seven in the finals. Game seven in the finals years ago. Game three, that game three he just had, that's the best I've seen Draymond. I've been game seven a couple years. Oh, man, he kept pushing the board on they throw pause like they had no <laughs> energy for that nigga. He just going, he the only four that could bring the ball from the rebound. That's, and not, crunch that's not the best that he's played in his so career. So, if you think, when do you think he played better? The first year they won the, um, 2015, when, they, when Kyrie and K-Love was out. Was defensive first team, defensive player. Y'all really be oh, I smoke too much. I smoke too much. I got to really go wow. back to that after that.
Hold on, Kirsty. He, 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 he ain't going to the next fuck. Where do you think he's going? Because yeah. he's staying. Personally, yeah, just in the company. Yeah, humble opinion. Yeah. We'll probably be teammates next year. Okay. You heard it here first. He's going to be on the Clippers. Those are my favorite players. I said that. This is Reese's favorite player, Kevin Durant. That's why I'm hoping. I ain't going to lie. It's it's not, if I was in the, in the league, it's New York or LA. I'm not even going to play with Chinese. I'm trying to be with Slit or Miami. Yeah, I mean, they're not too. You spend a lot of money, but you got know, a lot of money. It's harder to, is it harder to focus when you live in a lit city versus if you lived in fucking Utah? I feel like if I lived in Utah, I'd be like. You don't even know the difference. Seriously? <laughs> no, all six cities I played in was. Cause I remember when that nigga, when that nigga Shorty was on the hook, I seen that nigga in Roma every night. I said, "There's no way he's gonna go crazy no more." I know. I, I know. Go. That's so true. I like Katie on the Clippers. I like that. I like Katie on the Clippers. Would you take a while though? Hey, niggas are saying a while. I'll take both of them. Yeah. Niggas is a problem. Either way, you like. I'll take both of them. I, I like our team how it's built right now. I think we got some dogs on our team, but you know, anytime you can add a superstar caliber player to the mix, we'll take it. Can you just wake me up again? Thank you. Okay, we're moving on. No, we stay right there. We're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, All right. Now it's on. Listen, how, y'all, oh. how y'all have a basketball player in your podcast and run through basketball? Yeah, we got it. Like, you like you like that's what I'm saying. Right. The whole time. Right. Like, you got to get the basketball shit out. Because once you get the basketball. I love it. I love it, y'all. I was sitting here right. like this. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Homie. He already said everything you can say about it. Y'all said everything I can say about it. <laughs> <laughs> He brought up another point. I feel like my son, I don't like the comment that's talking about how you underpaid. I feel like Clippers should send some more revenue. I feel like you're more about it. He wanted me to ask whether they feel comfortable listening. Niggas like you said. Stop talking about it. Let me answer the question. Let me answer from my nigga. Damn, dog. Are you rich, rich? You can move different. You can pick the team you want based on where the fuck you want to be. When you got, when when you're already comfortable in your financial position, that's when you start choosing based off of um, other reasons. Happiness. Real life happiness reasons. LA is lit. It's comfortable. His family there. His girl love being there. I love being there. I be here all the time like this. <laughs> so the next quarter, like, we got 22 a year. In, in the rent pulling up. <laughs> now, oh, now what we like in New York. We all right, all right, so don't let's not act like money. We might be more money. But we're not going to. Um, if you have Jeff Bezos, if he wants another hundred billion, he's gonna be like, yeah. It's, it's, it's relative. Like if, if they offered me like two million more, I would move. Yeah. And it's, that ain't about a million dollars. But that's why I said it. If they, they offer the twenty million. piece, yeah, yeah they don't get that. That's different. But true. I'm not even eligible for that type of money. That's why people like don't know the business of the That's shit. That's why we. Hey, so like, people like everybody like, oh, you should get this. Like I'm not even eligible for that number. Why is that? Because as as great as I make it look, I'm still a bench player. Oh, that's right. crazy. Mm-hmm. Even though it's even so, though it's fair. Yeah. So it's as like. The amount of money I could have made, I got 85% of what I was eligible for. So I didn't get robbed. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? I think people gotta understand that people, oh, you should go get 20, 20 million a year. Well, you gotta start a certain amount of games what? to even be eligible for certain numbers. Oh, I didn't know they had it set up like that. Yeah, people don't understand that. They just think it's a free fall. You can kill. Yeah, you, you go get all this money. I thought that it's a free fall. That's what I'm That's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Into scenarios yeah. where you see, oh, this guy should, this guy make more than that guy. He's well, sorry, shit. He, and he um, better than it's because of the skills. On 2K, you could pay a nigga max bread off the bench, but that's 2K a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a thing to be running. I wish it worked like that. Word. What's your rating in 2K? <laughs> I don't play it. I don't play it for some reason. 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 You need, you, need a, you need a name on your team. Now, I ain't even about the name. I need a name for the good stuff so we can get busy yeah, real fast. You, you need a name. Good to yeah. know. You one of those. You can get buckets. <laughs> you, you don't get the buckets, but them other niggas. My <laughs> trans- I can't get you. What happened when Lou Fatigue go down? The nigga Fatigue is 62 and I'm fucked up. Now what? The rest of you gotta go shield just Alexander a little part of my son. You gotta do that. I like how you say that. I like his energy. That one's fine. Yeah, I got eight at point guards. Montrez get you twenty. I like Montrez. Like when them niggas fatigue nah. sixty, what we gonna do? Nigga, if you <laughs> get sixty, what you gonna do? Don't <laughs> no, make I sixty like a, a bullshit sixty. This shit, a lit sixty. The other niggas got more people on the bench though. Y'all got the bench. The bench. We, we literally have the best bench in the NBA. What do y'all do? Literally. Nah, because this bench is serious. We got the bench. We have sixty-five points a game. Because well, nah, you on the bench. Nigga. It don't matter why. <laughs> <laughs> Our bench is crazy. Our bench is our bad bucket. Who said we got the Liz bench? Me, baby. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, she is. You're right. You got to sit down. It is what it is. These are the facts. It's, yeah. It's, 
the six man finalist. He's got a six man and say 35 minutes. Two out of three finalists play on the same team. Is that, is that, is that the best bitch in the league? Yeah, all right, yeah. Why y'all think, that don't even make sense why y'all don't start. It's like politics why y'all don't start then. No, it ain't even politics. Yeah. You gotta, you just gotta think like, it's just, it's strategy. It's strategy, like, yeah, we, got, we got players, we got players, like, if your, if your leading scorer is going to come off the bench, if your leading rebounder is going to come off the bench, the guys that's in front of them, which are young guys, like, mm-hmm. you take Shea, you take, uh, you take Shea, for example, 20-year-old kid, you take Zubat at trans position, another yeah. 20-year-old kid, yeah. let them start, mm-hmm. so they can get that experience, mm-hmm. and then we're going to come clean shit up. <laughs> so it's our strategy, yeah. everything in the league ain't about best player, bad player. Yeah. You know, because if, if it was on like that, you would have some guys not making as much money. You have it, it just ain't every every situation in the NBA is a different scenario. Yeah. So the starting shit really ain't even that that critical. Well, it's that, like, like, they, like they always say on that shit. It's about who end that motherfucker. It's about who end the game. That's what they always say. And do other like up and coming. Oh, come on. Come on. It's just it's shit. Long, right? it's just it's, blowing my shit for real. Not what I came here for. You want to come to shit? Am I no. still gonna get paid? I'm not here for this. This is not my choice. Other six men, like players, can't come up with this. Come to you for advice, like, yo, how this is. You know, I work better. You know what I'm saying? Do you mentor the younger players? Yeah, of course. That's it. Right with shit. I got many young homies in the league that we got to. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what we want to know. That's the most important. That's the most important. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Kayla. I'm here. So, let me start. This is a real special uh, episode for me because, oh, you know, Lou, I would like to tell you something. This is some real shit. Lou actually, so Lou was really an inspiration for me to do this podcast because the number one person in this whole fucking world that I argue with more than anybody else is Lou Will. We have great debates. I mean, great debates. No matter where we are and what it's about, it could be any fucking thing. It could be any fucking time. I'm always right. He's usually never right, but we still do it, and and I'm good at it. And he made me so good at it, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> so I was excited for him to come today because I wanted to give him a question that I really want to know the real answer to. Even though I already know the answer, I'm just gonna see if he kind of fucking knows it. But here it is. Okay. So the stats is saying this: when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to. America, right? The country that we live in. MAGA. MAGA. Stop. Stop. I repeated you. I just said MAGA. Anyways, um, right now in America, our marriage rates are very, very, very low. As a matter of fact, they're lower than they've ever been. In America, 50% of us are single and 50% of us are married. And it's usually not like that. Usually everybody's fucking married because it's the all American. No, it's the human thing to fucking do. So I can only assume that we can uh, blame it on the generational change. So my question to you, Lou, is why do you think that this generation of relationships cannot make it to that next level of marriage? Like, where, what are we doing I wrong? Have an I, I, I have an opinion, I don't have an answer. No, I, think, I think interactions are down. Why? Because social media. Like, yeah, it's like, the know, number one when the last time? When the last time you just walked through the mall? Or you know what I'm saying? Without or, having your phone in your hand? Or just or even allow strangers to walk up and talk to you. Push up and I'm gonna keep it hundred. You know why you said why people can't why, get into why the marriage next down? Time. Yeah. Why why people not get married? You think it's consistent. I mean people don't yeah. interrupt as much. That's real shit. And let me but just let me you do only, this. like you at this point you only interact with the motherfuckers that's like in your circle. In your like. Oh, yeah, in your bracket. Barely. Your bracket. Yeah, that's the perfect. That makes sense. It's like it's a nigga that, that Mike can walk up to you at a restaurant and get a conversation with you, but he jump in your DM, he not even gonna get that interaction out of you. True. Yeah. Let me pick. See what I'm saying? But so people just, still, I still meet people. Niggas still run down though. Now, yeah. now I'll say that. In your, in your, your box. Yeah. It well, I'm curving niggas. A lot of people that you meet, you mom. probably know them already. It's not Jim Smith one of them. Like you yeah. know, like you know of the people that you meet. From. And I'm, let me piggyback. Yeah. Like, I agree. Like, I feel like the shows that I've actually ran down on, like I had them in person. I've had a longer lasting. Nah, like I'll give you an example. Like he know he been with me. 
If I see a joint on the gas station, I ran out. Joints like that, I've had longer lasting relationships with them. Maybe because in that interaction, we might have had a talk. I walked with the outside. So I feel, I feel like there's more authenticity. Let's just get right back into it. So, so Louis basically explains that he thinks it has a lot to do with no one-on-one -on -one interaction with people. When you, when you got options for niggas to slide in your DMs, Versus now niggas ain't running down on you in person. The, that lack of the initial interaction is what fucks up the whole rest of everything. Think about this though. Nigga jump in your DM, right? True. Eat, right. Don't be afraid to do it right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. That was my joke. Right. I got a nigga. That's but, my joke. Listen, <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen nigga yeah. jump, in your, uh, jump in your DM right now. First yeah. thing you gonna do what? Click on his Click page. Click on his page. Go, check go him out. Your, uh, and, he can't, and if you don't see, like what you see, see, he can't say a word to you. No. And like, he can't even make out his brain to like the 99. Ten, <laughs> ten years ago, you gonna go on two or three dates before you realize, like, oh, this yeah, that's a yeah. fact. Interactions is down. A nigga could swindle you down back in the day. Like, that's correct. Right. Niggas still run down on me in person. Niggas dead still run down on me in person. I ain't just saying well, social media, but like, you don't even go out. Easier to swindle. You know so much about a person before they can even have a conversation. Exactly. Now that's true. Now they can show you a beat. You might get a number the next night. She, that's, she might be like, what's your Instagram that same night? She's already booked you. She's seen your whole shit right then and there. That's a good thing. You know why? Because on Instagram, you post your best shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. A lot of niggas is not. I'm a old nigga. 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 I'm a nigga. I'm a old nigga. I'm a old nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm a old nigga. I'm a old nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm a old 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 nigga. What if he's a popping nigga? He's actually getting money. Y'all don't think he just want to keep up. Y'all don't understand. He don't want to be corny so niggas popping. So he only got five hundred followers. Hold on, hold on. If a nigga, if that's the case, he doesn't get to explain that to me. When I look at him and I, I judge him, I'd be like, I don't know. So you in agreement with me then? You disagree? Yeah, but I'm not saying. But but let me say I do agree. What he's saying is true. The interaction might be down, but really I think it's better because now I can walk past the nigga and he can look at me. No, nope, this just happened to me recently. I'm walking, met a nigga, saw, saw him, he passed eyes at me. Two minutes later, he was in my DMs. I just passed you, da da da. It's easier. So now I'm getting more interaction than I ever had before. That's scary. 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 That's Race. Yeah, like we at the most racist time of our generation right now. You don't think that has a part? I don't think that has a part. Millennials, I think millennials, I think millennials overall just don't like to commit to shit. Like, they said millennials rather rent than buy property. You know what I'm saying? She just talking some wild shit. So I think overall, like, I just feel like just this generation, since there's a lack of commitment, that's why there's a lack of marriage. That's just the layman term. I'm gonna keep it tall. I just think it's a new vibe outside. Like, like bitches and city girls now. That's what it is. That's what the fuck it is. And he's right. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it tall. I'm gonna keep it tall. I'm gonna keep it tall. In my life right now, I'm getting slid. Bitches call me five in the morning, slide at me. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I gotta understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's a new generation. Bitches just sliding us now. Like before, it used to be like, I love you. I want to have all your babies and shit. Marry me. Now it's like, go slide me, nigga, and keep it pushing. I'm like, damn. Hold on, wait, slide me. Uh, New York. Oh, uh, Jersey, don't disrespect this shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is this? I mean, uh, Slide me. 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 Slide Bitches running around screaming city girls, yeah, all this people fuck me. I'm supposed to fuck that you coming in with that energy. It's a man that's 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 Bitches that back in the day, they come from Mary J, and then the generations I'm bringing yeah. that had Anita Baker, like yeah. real love, so they're trying to make it work. Now I'm just talking about you might go in my pocket and steal some money from yeah. me. Yeah. Like, yeah. that. Little dirty rat, like yeah. shit crazy. So <laughs> you got to if I pull up and she plays City Girls, I'm like, I got something for you. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play certain type of way. I like you. I can like you, but I'm gonna go hang in your mouth. That's all I'm talking about. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Can I speak? I would like to say this. I agree that social media has a major impact. But I will also say this. The reason is different. I think that with social media, we see a lot of our own opinions. What's up, Jan? 
Yo, gay. How are you guys? Yo, Hold on, don't be cutting us off because we filming. You let them talk. Yeah, you <laughs> know what I'm excited to see that they walked in. But anyway, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get back to them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Young niggas pulled up. You already know But this is real. This is real. I feel like with social media, we get to see the insides of people's lives. So, and I can speak for myself. If I'm posting what the fuck I'm doing all day, it. it, it it affects the nigga's um, interpretation of who I am as a woman. So he's That's like, damn, right. you always do these shows. Like, you think you know me better than what you know me as. That's the same right. way people think they know celebrities based off of whatever bullshit they know about. Exactly. So I think that that is what fucks it up. I could talk to a nigga all day. He says all the right fucking things. But if I log in or my friends log in and we see this nigga wildin', mm -hmm. he's a wildin' ass nigga. And now he cannot be fucking caught. Right. And That's so, right. and so on, on the flip of that, again. I'm gonna go back to my original shit. It's interaction. Cause mm -hmm. I'm putting out whatever I want you to yeah. see. Yeah. But if I run into you and you get a real vibe, really? I, I, I know that Kayla is, I know she tripping. My like that's just Kayla being Kayla. It's yeah, that's true. So you know, like whatever you see on Kayla page and you slide in the DM or you y'all talking back and forth, that's what you signing up for. Yeah. Like you so ain't like you don't wanna Okay. okay. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't right want now. her. I don't want her if they're not on your page. My page that's is not. Problem. My page doesn't represent me. This is a. So, so, like, so why do you have a page that don't represent? Let me tell you why. Oh, I'm happy though. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. It's a pop. People post pictures for likes. People um, do what they think people, other people want to see. Mm -hmm. You are a direct reflection a of the expectations of your fucking peers. Oh, so sure. you do what you think everybody around you wants you to do. So when I hop in a fucking uh, Rolls Royce or a Maybach, that's what I'm filming. But when I'm doing shit like paying my motherfucking bills, like, that shit's not going on Instagram. So you, that doesn't mean that's not who the fuck I really am. So I show what I want to show, but that's not what it really is. Like they want to see you in the so when a nigga's watching me wild out all day and I'm showing them, it is, but that's where you're getting a little deep, low. Slow down. No, you're getting deep. deep. You're no, getting deep. But I'm just saying, on a surface level, that's what put, fucks why, up. Why would you purposely put some shit out that you don't want people? Like sometimes you because people shit. are mean. That's why. No, but listen, sometimes you do something and then. People gonna interpret how you want. You say, "Oh, that, that ain't what I was going for." But a lot of times, like you just putting some shit out, like you, why would you put something out that you don't want somebody yeah, to say to heart about you? When you go I back know. and back to keep how do you want likes? So what do niggas like? In the cheeks out, right? They like my cheeks out, and I like showing it to them. Okay, all right. so that's you, then. So but that's why my niggas so, be mad. That's like that's like when niggas like, 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 Cause you still going cheeks out? Like, why are you going cheeks out? Cause when you go cheeks out, you doing that cause you know niggas going like this. So basically you doing it for other niggas to like, cause niggas is going to check in, but you got a nigga. So it's like, why are you still going cheeks out? Why I'm going to tell you why. Well, she let me tell you cheeks out. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold nah, the fuck up. She she had had about to come for me. Instagram is a fucking, no, stop. Instagram is a fucking business. So the more likes you get, the more likes you get, the more motherfucking money I get. So that's why I post. What the fuck I need to get likes? Because it's Luke said it's cat. Let the record show. Luke said it's cat. Let the record show. I'm not anti cheeks. That's real. So you know that. You got it, but you try to say when say, oh, she had to go cheeks out. She went nigga. That's a lie. I don't want you. I don't want you. I gotta say, you don't want to risk your relationship. Oh my god. But listen, though, sis. She has been shameful. But he just went cheeks out to the moon. Let's pull it up. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a big one. We don't accept. Freak. We don't accept half of that shit. I'll pull it up, okay. man. You, you want likes? I want likes. Just tell me fucking real. Just tell me what you want to be real. Then we'll dress it up and be like, "This is her last picture." She got her cheeks out. But the likes come with the money. She wanted me one. The likes come with the money. Cheeks out. Zooming on the camera. Oh, your own family will do it to you. Look at it. Now I'm just saying on the camera. Let's see how many likes you got. Stop. Listen, 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 listen. The more like she posted a book and she got a book like this. You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't do it for No, we just trying to highlight this. No, let's talk about how fucked up America is. No, you're fucking with a book like this. You went cheeks like this. Let's go. I'm never going to tell you. You need to know you should go through the 190 niggas with like this. All right, all right. So hold on, hold on, hold on. See, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Chill, chill, chill. Y'all hold on. So are we never going to cuff a bitch with that ass out in the rain? No. Why? I'm getting cuffed every day, nigga. Why not? Oh, I will. I ain't that was a joke. That was a joke. Oh, 
we not gonna cut you off? Are we anti? Are we not gonna cuss this my ass out? Like I said, whatever you click on that page for, that's what you sign up for. Yeah. Get your ass out of here in the world. That's not that's true. true. I'm you? telling you, my ass is out for life. Let me ask. I, 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 let me ask. Let me ask the guest. No, that's a not. Question. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, when a nigga comes to your page, no, you, you want you you want your personality to beam through yeah. all that shit. Uh, but that's not true, Lou. You're wrong. Because let me tell you something. When the niggas come, they go, oh, that. But when they get to know me, they realize I'm actually intellectual. I'm actually you know you want your, your That's how I really meant. That's, that's why I locked in. That's why I look like this. Like just like that. Just like that. your cheeks out with the book. Yeah. You can read the book with the cheeks out. Just like that. Let me ask you this. As a nigga. I'm telling you. If your girl goes cheeks out, does it bother you? Yes, it does. It's a problem. On the ground. So she might be. My wife got her ass out. I'm my mood and how I swing like some shit. But it could be an issue. No, it's a problem. I respect it. Okay, Reese, no Yeah, Reese's not allowed to post no ass pictures. I wasn't going to say it, but she's she not. She tried to throw a hip in there. She tried to get, she tried to get it. spicy. Yeah. But she knows it's a dub. Which is crazy, because if she was getting them likes, we'd all be richer. We still don't need any more extra black tummy tea checks. It's not going to make no difference. Come on, stop it. No, Reese, no difference. Come on, stop it. curve from Dallas, for real. I know he do. But he didn't buy her kind of shit, though. Yeah. So that's why he feel like he has the right to do that. I'm single, so hold the fuck up. Any nigga want to replenish his life? I swear to God, if a nigga pay my bills, I will post pictures hell like you saw. Are you single or not? Hell, yeah. hell, hell not. Hell you ain't single or not? Hell, 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 I'm in love. You kiss him no. I kiss him in the mouth. What's your name? 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 What's we not gonna do that. We Fuck not. Fuck all of new hoes. I mean, I lose. Never. Hey yo, hey yo, little quick question. Which city got the best bitches? Stand up. My don't be asking for no shit like that. Reese said, don't be asking for no shit like that. Look, that's my answer. I ain't saying nobody hitting them. I ain't saying nothing about hitting them. Somebody ain't got the best. Don't be asking for no shit like that. Somebody ain't got the best. Better than that, Listen, first of all, let's not play crazy. This is my partner in crime. Got me. So. That's that's like shit. Real we, shit. That's my partner. We have real conversations. Like y'all ain't bring me over to bullshit. Yeah. Like, you know. Real like, shit. He can say who got the prettiest joints. Miami got the, the prettiest bitches. That's what you saying. That's what we going with. Yeah, Miami. Miami. That's it. Miami got the best bitches. I don't agree. I don't agree. You know what I like? I would go nice. I would go to New York. New York got the good. New York. I was gonna say New York got the flavors. But New York got the flavors. New York got the flavors. The joints. Nah, they nasty yeah. attitudes. They attitudes. Oh, are cold. Miami got the good body. <laughs> Some bitches with the bitch that got Tim's on. I don't want to uh, fuck no bitch with Phil Boots and shit. From? from Jersey. Yeah. But I don't fuck with the bitches no more. I don't fuck with the bitches no more, God. Yeah. I don't like them. Fuck them New York bitches. Nah, I still fuck with the New York bitches. I ain't fucking with bitches. I got like two, three bitches from high school I might get dick to every now and then. I'm not fucking with them bitches from my top, bro. I like my bitches subservient. Cut it out, cheese. I ain't cutting shit out. I like I love my bitches loving and subservient, my Cali bitches, so my Texas bitches, bitches, my Georgia yeah. bitches. So my who's the most subservient? New York too? Who's like, like that too? The, the common bitches from Cali. Cali, they are too calm. Yeah. They the coolest bitches. I never they heard of that. Cali. Cali. No? Nah, I had, I had a They all are called static. They all are called static. I'm saying like, a, a Cali bitch is the most popular. Let me give a shout out to you. What I will say about New York bitches, New York bitches and Detroit bitches is the most money getting bitches I know. They the most hustling bitches I know. I can't lie to you. I don't lie to you. Nah, Chicago, 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 all right, we have to move on from relationship shit. See, I knew it was gonna be great. Yeah, I knew it. But now we gotta move on. So now we're moving on to music. It's some sick Lil, individuals at the stage. Lil, what, what kind of what music are you listening to right now? It depends on the day. Okay. That day today. Today. Today, I've, uh, I've been having meetings all day. Shout out uh,
So the people. Uh, got a talented young lady by the name of Talia. She does R&B music, do soul it. music. Oh, um, different vibe. Yeah, that. she's dope. Got another artist named Anakin. Uh, he from Gwinnett County. He I fuck with him. He talk that I trap like rap. He do his thing. Oh, yeah, that shit. We're working on another artist uh, mm-hmm. now um, from Kentucky that's really talented. I don't really want to say his name until it's official. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make yeah. it happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, then you used to rap? Then you used to do music? I still rap. You still rap? Yeah, I got You got, got some, some shit? shit on the way. <laughs> and my best friend is in the music video. It's gonna be popping. Yeah, you got a whole, you got a whole thing. So. We, got a whole, we got a whole thing. Yeah, got yeah, a whole thing. Blue music is good. Blue is low key like a lit rapper. That's good. I heard Blue, somebody told me that you you be ghostwriting for real rappers. <laughs> is that That's true? my past. Oh, you oh, 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 yeah. I wasn't gonna say it. You didn't say it. Oh, shit. So you used to go for it. <laughs> this is not no more. Who your favorite rapper right now? Who your favorite right now? Ty, you can name three. Can wait, 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 wait. Can I split it up, though? Go ahead. You can say who you fuck with personally. He doesn't say, say as far as music. He can say who you want. No, because he's be clear. He got to know his team. So say who you fuck with personally and then say musically. Who you want to hear? So who do you fuck with, man? She just want to know. Nigga, I'm DC chain on, nigga. You know the vibes? Yeah, obviously. See, that's why I'm trying to avoid that. Of course he love me. He's his family. You know the vibes. But also, who do you want to actually listen to every day? I can listen to Lil Wayne every day. Still? I think I think Wayne is the goat in my world. Wait, he be doing um, all the new music. Like, where is that from? Really? Yeah. I I, Wayne Wayne is the goat. Um, I didn't know Lil Wayne was know, making music. Yeah, you me know, this. Or whatever. I'm trying to put it on you. So, I don't believe it. He's a Kayla to be talking, I'm trying to answer the question. Yeah, Kayla, let him talk. Yeah. Yeah. You're like a dumbass. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like my nephews, my nephews oh, is in that thing. They try to, sleep. they try to keep me I, abreast. I'm gonna keep it tall, right? I just came yeah. home like, like five, six months before I came home from prison, right? I'm about to be 33. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, but it took me a little minute, like a little month, two, three months, and I was like, oh, I'm in the vibe. So you stop me? I'm body bitch shit. I'm open body bitch. I'm open the new nigga. I'm never fucking that guy. Why you playing with baby? Go hard. Go hard. You heard of baby? He made his own. He got some shit. I really, I did. See? I'm really not into that crew he rap. I ain't even gonna lie. Alright, so then it's a personal thing, but let's not fuck with music. Like, some you people got some rappers, shit. Detroit rappers do they things. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So, say the Detroit Daniel rappers. Play. I swear, that's all. I swear straight. I swear, I I swear straight. Grizzly, I ask low for T. T. Grizz. I like Kwame Rondo. Okay. Kwame Rondo. I like Kwame Rondo. 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 Sada baby. Sada baby from Detroit. Oh, well, that's a Detroit nigga. Yeah, yo, oh. boys cash out. Yo, boys cash out. They fall off. That's old. That payroll nigga hot though. Payroll, payroll yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a okay, my son rich with the Detroit. My nigga, I'm around. All right, I'll be there. All right, David. Next up, baby. Um, all right, good. Thank you. We're moving right along. Now yeah. we're going into our favorite segment. The reason why we're all here, we're all set. It's my favorite. Free. You get it started. What are you all set on? I'm gonna look at the camera. What does that mean? Hold up. Wait, oh, that's how we make it. You know, explain it. When, when we do the raw set segment, you just say anything that you that like you're going on. That you like your office. Like, you're like, you, okay. done with it. It could be okay. fashion trends, music, certain situations. Anything. So anything. Alright. You want me to go? <laughs> Kayla. Yeah. You, you, you were doing a podcast or something so, else? You think something's. <laughs> y'all think I'm slow? I'm talking about you wrong with me. I can like, talk about everybody. Yeah, like, what's up? Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You alright? No, speak. Yeah, that's something going on. My apologies. Right now. My apologies. I'm not drinking drink straight. Drinking drinks. Alright, I'm sorry. Continue. I'm all set on the Portland Trail Blazers. CJ will come with name number. I'm still going to say that. I don't know what y'all niggas got to do. Front office. Somebody got to go. Y'all reach out. I'm good. Y'all niggas couldn't get better than the way. Y'all couldn't even win a game. So I'm all set on y'all niggas, and like I said, I'm all set on Harley too. I'm all set on the Rockets. So I just yeah. want to say that. Yeah. I said, Jesus Christ. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. I just gonna get it done. And I'm a Warriors nigga, but I want to like I kind of didn't want to see. I want to see somebody else. Maybe get a chip. Yeah, yeah. Not that you can't be. Y'all real. didn't. You're not a real fan. I'm a fan of the NBA more so than I'm a fan of Warriors. But y'all didn't get it done, and my niggas is moving on. That's it. Copy. So Damn, like, I really I just wanted it to be a competitive series. Like I wanted like. Pulling to win a game so I can watch the Warriors. It was a close game. You feel me? 
The game so, wasn't close enough for you? I got it. What they game? Fuck. See, I can be on the next time I can smoke a blunt and watch y'all. Like, I like watching them niggas on TV. I like watching the Warriors. It's good basketball. Ball moves. You know what I mean? Motion offense. I'm into all of that. Fuck the mics, my niggas, man. All right, on to the next. What you all set on, though? I'm all set on making new friends. <laughs> 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 that was looking bad. All set on making new friends. What's wrong with making new friends? That nigga be trying to take pictures of me. That nigga be trying to take pictures of me tomorrow. We working. I'm almost like weird shit. I like being new friends. As I grow, let me tell you why. Because as you grow as, a, as an individual, you you bring people in that are that uh, adapt to your growth. But listen, you know, money. But listen, you know, if, you, if you move in the right way, everything that's for you is gonna come to you. You the, the people that that you bring into your circle is gonna already be part of another circle that you fuck with or whatever. Maybe you're not just gonna pick up random ass randoms. I feel know. like I don't know. That's where you at in your life. I'm, I'm like my shit is. Oh, you are who you I've are. I've been dealing with this shit since I was like my whole adult life. Really? See, I feel like every day I'm growing, so I want to meet people who are. I'm growing as well. I'm not this. saying I'm, I'm, no, not, no, I'm not growing. I'm just, I'm okay. I, I'm all set on meeting frivolous friends. How about that? Yeah. Oh, shit. There's, there's, there's no reason. I'm all set on meeting new club friends. Uh, no reason. Fuck that. Crowd decision. But let me tell you. Late night dad ass niggas. Get up. Late night dad ass niggas. Reach for the bottle ass niggas. Get up. Fuck out of here, bro. Hit the hook ass niggas. Get up. 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 Get up.
So we just want to say that. Uh, that, that, that um, I just want to say that I'm not getting deep or anything, but I just feel like is it weird that I think that his the the mother of the child. The, the child needs to go to her mama. Everybody wants the child to go to the sister, but I just feel like, why can't a mom have a baby? No, and that's my point. So, so naturally, I, mean, I think I mean, that. The mom's even trying to get the kid. What? what? Oh, okay, you got it. She you don't know what's going on. She's going hard. She's oh, going to love They got the petition out of it. I think he got some insight on this. No, no, I don't have no insight. Oh. <laughs> I think I think generally when somebody I actually I went through this personally in my life. My my father passed away when I was nine years old. Come to find out, uh, he left me a lot of money. However, he was legally married. So even though he hadn't been with um, the last woman that he was legally married to, she kind of wanted chicken. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, but. You know, it's, it's different dynamics and shit that happens with that. That's true. I just feel like I think everyone thinks it's so absurd that this woman wants to custody. It's all about money. It's about money, but the reality is, That's her every, every but it's why did Nixie have primary custody? Though that's where everybody. Because is. let me tell you why it could be anything. I lived with my father. You know, my mother didn't raise my dad. Didn't, but my mother was still a good mother. I don't, I don't think we should speculate on this. one. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who the fuck? Not, not because he did. Because who the fuck? We don't know. Like we talking about a kid. Yeah, true. Yeah, we so this is my point. I think that no matter what the situation is, regardless, because we don't know, the, the kid should choose where to go. And tell me why it's touchy to you. It's touchy to me because I think everybody's going against this lady, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Because I mean, like you just said, we don't but, know. But again, you, and everyone's you talking you talking about you talking about machines. Like you don't know why that the narrative is. You only. Yeah. Reading what you read. Yeah. You're you know, right. So not even. So really, the, aside from that story, you what, you, what, what, what they want oh, you to have. You're right. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. Right. Like, so outside of that, not even to that specific story, because we don't know those people. It's none of our fucking business. Also, but I would like to say this: in those situations, I think that there's so many different dynamics that I do hate that that woman and that family is going through that shit because it's just so fucked up. Yeah, and I have to speak on it because it is going on right now. But I just like to say, like, damn, I know she's having a hard time, and I just feel sorry for them. Cause it's really fucking unfortunate. Yeah. All right, fine. Rich, what you all said on? You just depressed me. Fuck. Um, <laughs> swear, <laughs> um, shit. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, some shit happened to me earlier in front. I'm all set on fucking white privilege, B. I'm, all right, listen. All right, right. Captain Obvious. Listen. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, hey, I got what I'm talking about. What the I'm fuck? Just go, 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 go. <laughs> anyway, right. So some shit happened today. I, I ain't gonna lie. I go through shit all the time. I live in Midtown. The people, the white people, the white people that live in my buildings and such things of that nature be so like nervous every time they see me and shit to be weird. Oh fuck! Right? Worries. So, so, so today, right? I'm going into my man's building. I hit the buzzer. Blue, blue, blue. White lady comes up behind me. Middle aged white lady. She just got off work. She pushes past me, bleeps herself in, grabs the door. My shit beeps too. She go. She walks and goes. She said, "Oh no, I can't let you in." Like what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You mean you mean to tell you my shit beat too? You just push past me. She like, no, I can't let you in. Mm -hmm. Then she like, oh, you know, I, I'll let you. I'm like, you know what, bitch? Close, Close that shit. Let me Go where the fuck stuff. you going? Yeah. Let me call my niggas back. You know what I'm saying? But like, what the fuck is up with that shit? Be? I'm not. I don't do that. Who does that? Yo, and it was like, I'm like, yo, nah, I ain't doing that. I'm on parole. I'm not wilding on some white bitch out here. I'm not doing none of that shit, but it's like Good job. What is that shit about? Like, what is wrong with y'all? What is this shit? I would like to defend it. And, I, and what he's saying is right. And so let's just say that I'm just this is a little bit of devil's advocate, not with no purpose. But let's just be clear. There is a stereotype, and that stereotype comes from something. I'm not gonna lie, there's two types of people. When I'm sitting in my car and a certain type of person walks up beside my car, I'm locking my fucking door. Another type of person, I'm probably not gonna lock my door. And I think that is what it is. So, so us as a people, hold on, let me just finish this. Us as a people, I think all we can do is um, stop doing the bullshit that makes them feel like this is who we are, and that takes time. So if they got a beard like Rich, you're not gonna do it. So if they like Justin Bieber, you're not. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just keep, I'm just <laughs> on for No, no, it's not even that. Yeah. Not even that. I would be nervous about Rich, but I can definitely say it's been some niggas pulled up that I, because I've been robbed by niggas with hoods on and real niggas. Rich I know the type of nigga that, that makes me feel aggressive, and I know the type of little white girl walking her dog that doesn't make me feel nervous. <laughs> Rich, you look like you hang out with white boys. I got one white friend that's my nigga. Don't you look like like the boys? Right. What are you know? Rich is not a threat. Rich is not a threat, but she's I but the, the lady is. I got a fucking laptop. Like 
you probably who the fuck am I going to shoot in the face? Like, True. Yeah, you but I didn't bad to somebody. You know, you go back to where, where it come from. I'm not scared of no little girl or chihuahua, but I am afraid of a nigga that walks up with a hood. Oh, oh my God, look what Rich is looking at. Man, naked girl like this. Nah, one of my little holders got her ass done. Check it out. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> ew, Reed. Check it out. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, good. My bad. Yo, my mother host got her ass on though. Oh yeah, just text me. I'm talking about the book of the fucking week. <laughs> oh my god. We're talking about being a conscious fucking parent. Dr. Shafali. My bad, yo. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, like I was saying, I don't know if you're caught this, but at the end of the day, when you when you think of parenting, you can do a surface level parenting, you can feed your kids, take care of them, but deeply you can you can condition them to be who they need to become. So this is telling you don't just parent, parent with a conscious. So She's really good. I don't read books by women, and this might be controversial, but I don't. I prefer to read books by men, especially doctors. But yeah, she, I don't. That was a shock. <laughs> I'll take it. But anyways, I did read this book because I am into child psychology, Lou, and I really enjoyed it. And I actually have another one, but we'll do that one next week. Dr. Shafali, The Conscious Parent. I recommend it to all women, whether you have kids or not. <laughs> That's all. But thank you guys for tuning in. That was episode 15 of We're All Set. Thank you, Lou, for being here. It really meant a lot to me. Appreciate you, my nigga. We enjoyed you. Free, rich, me. Make sure y'all niggas is subscribe. Subscribe. Send your music. Leave in comments. Play your music. Yeah, send some music in. You little aspiring artists and all that. Send me your posters. We can put them behind us. I can't believe you tell y'all niggas y'all suck. We support black business. He might play frisbee, but Mel makes CDs, so we can't throw your shit, so you lucky.